VX LAN tunnel. It is a method of creating virtual layer 2 networks on top of layer 3 networks. It involves encapsulating a layer 2 frames within standard UDP frames using VXLAN. Let's review a few use cases. In many enterprise environments, organizations have specific policies for guest traffic and prefer to tunnel this traffic to a dedicated switch for further handling. Also, a lot of customers are transitioning their Wi-Fi solutions from a controller-based architecture to a controller-less ones while aiming to have minimum network modifications in the process. In such cases, instead of terminating client traffic locally, they choose to tunnel this traffic to a remote endpoint. Additionally, there are scenarios where a network administrator prefer not to extend all VLANs to the leaf switch. In all above situations, VXLAN tunneling provides a viable solution the configuration of this tunnel can be done on a per WLAN basis so that only specific wireless traffic will be tunneled. For example, in this case, the configuration of switch A is set up to manage guest traffic on VLAN 303. Therefore, when a Wi-Fi client connects to an AP using guest WLAN, the administrator need to extend VLAN 303 from switch A to leave switches. From a network perspective, the approach of extending VLAN 303 to handle guest traffic may not be scalable or recommended. A more effective solution would be to configure a VXLAN tunnel which originates from the access points and terminates at switch A. This alternative method ensures better scalability. When a client connects to the AP on guest WLAN, AP will encapsulate the layer 2 packet within a VXLAN header with VNI number, add the source IP, which is access point's own IP address, add destination IP address, and send it to the leaf switch. The packet will then be routed to its final destination, switch A. As you can see here, blue line represents the VXLAN tunnel. The Wi-Fi client becomes part of VLAN 303 completes DHCP process and receive an IP address within that VLAN and start sending traffic. Let's see the queue configuration. For this demo purpose, switch A has already been pre-configured in the VXLAN configuration. As you can see here, the VLAN to VNI mapping is for VLAN 303, VNI is 3003. Let's go to the queue. Let's begin by creating a VXLAN tunnel, configuration, network profiles, tunnel. Add tunnel interface. Unique number, tunnel type, VXLAN remote endpoint IP address. And save the configuration. Next step, we'll create a new WLAN. VLAN 303. We are not mapping for the testing purpose. We are not mapping the tunnel here. And client should associate but should not receive any IP address as VLAN 303 is not available on leaf switch. Save and turn on the SSID. It will take a couple of seconds for the access point to receive the configuration and start broadcasting this SSID. Let's look at the client.
is expected client associated but it does not receive any ip address let's map that tunnel When mapping the tunnel, please ensure that you are giving the VNI number. Save. Let's check the client. It's connected. It received the IP address in VLAN 303. Let's check the client status and tunnel status. On queue. Monitor Wi-Fi, as we can see here. The client received the IP address. Let's check the tunnel status. The tunnel is up. For more information, please use this link. Thank you.